Oh boy, you have all seriously outdone yourself this time. Hello and welcome back to the domain. This is the end of the Toymation Fest 2024 and I feel like it's been going on literally forever. It's been my entire life for the past couple of weeks and we have come to a conclusion and decided the winners. And this is gonna be a bumper video because there is a lot to go through. At the beginning of the year, I challenged animators across the world to create stop motions based on the outbreak, a flood outbreak break across the Halo universe and 123 of you answered the call. More animators than last year with more prizes and oh my goodness. Yesterday, myself and a great panel of judges, I cannot thank them all enough for their hard work, sat down and watched on a live stream eight hours worth of these animations. It was insane. And then after that, me and the judges had to sit there for 30 minutes just bickering over Skype, trying to desperately decide who was the winner because this was not pleasant. Like I've enjoyed this animation contest, but deciding a winner when there are so many good animations is it's fiendish. I hate it. Like, we have so many honorable mentions and runner-up prizes because, like, I physically couldn't decide the winners here. For the Toymation Fest 2024, we have decided first, second, and third place, and then four category prizes and a load of honorable mentions. So, we're going to go through the category prizes and first, second, and third. We're gonna let those animations play out in their entirety. It's just one more chance to applaud all this insane hard work and incredible dedication from an incredible amount of people over a hundred of you spending hours and hours and even if you didn't win today every single one of these animators that animated last year or the year before have upped their game every single year and improved their quality and you've all got to be incredibly proud of that but there has to be some winners and some honorable mentions and i'll start with the honorable mentions we absolutely loved honey bunny's animation a comedic take on master chief at the gym with some flood with a really fun twist at the end and mego tv studios with their set design and how they built suspense with a flashlight we have to mention divided pixel with their awesome use of cctv footage and again just building the suspense slowly some really good action scenes and probo animations with a wonderful set design ambiance and an explosive finale and i personally love Loved Will Star 123 with their deep storytelling, amazing flood customs, and all out action and suspense. And that camera angle with the sweep, oh, I've watched it like 20 times. Of course, there were so many more that I wanted to mention there. And we had an enormous list of ones we graded really highly at the start, but this is a fierce competition and we had to slim it down. So if you're not in this list, still be incredibly proud that you produced something that was awesome. Like, there was not a single animation we did not enjoy this year. I think particularly the Flood theme lent itself to really rich storytelling. Okay, onto the main show. We have Best Action, Best Cinematography, Best Choreography, and Best Concept. And each of these will receive a domain merch pack. I think we'll start with Concept. From the moment I initially saw it, I knew it had to be some kind of winner. Without further ado, let's check out Best Concept. Get him? He killed Billy! There's Billy's brother! You demon! Any more hostiles? Not reading any more hostile signatures. <laughs> Correction? One hostile. You gonna shoot him? Not yet. He's still useful. And remove! Only if you speak Sanghaley. I know something that does. And remove! Artifact? <laughs> In there? Dear. With Parasite? Give us the tour. Hold on! You okay? Riz? You and Kai stay here. Make sure our exit is clear. Thank you, Kai. 
Vanek will accompany me. Chief, this isn't the mission. We need to leave. The missions change, Vanek. They always do. We're not out in five minutes. Call demolition team in. We should turn on our flashlights. No. Could be an ambush. We don't want to give away our... Okay, now can we use our flashlights? Stand down, Marine! This is Spartan 117! Chief, Vanek's ID tag just went offline. Where do all these guys come from? What the hell? It's a portal. If Vanek went through... That might be why his ID tag went offline. Only one way to find out. Wait, I haven't run a full analysis. Don't have time. I can't get a signal on comms. We should head back. Not without the artifact. Let's play King of the Hill. Room's clear. That's our mission. Wait, we don't know if it's safe. Chief? Fate hath us meet as fools. The prophets have betrayed us. This ring will make us brothers. The Arbiter's with us! This is the way the world ends. Once again. And then a warthog hit me. When I got back up, he was bawling his back with the artifact. Isn't that right, Chief? Whatever you say, Vanek. Everything okay? Chief, your heart rate is still pretty high. Wait, but... What do you see, Chief? The mission. Congratulations to Multiversal Productions. You intricately thread together the Silver Team and the Blue Team timeline and gave some combining tissue between the two. It actually felt like one shared multiverse. And I gotta say, you can tell when someone is a good cinematographer, when they actually learnt from the Halo TV show. There are certain shots in this that genuinely feel like they were pulled out of action shots from the show. It really shows an attention to detail and the voice acting is pretty damn close to the actual show. On to best acting. Now, this one blew me away. I had a smile across the room the second I watched it, and this prize had to go to this animation. Thanks. Let's move.
sector is clear. Congratulations to Halo Editor. Whether it be your incredible set designs, your attention to detail on the lighting, especially lighting up different fire effects, and then your flood grave mind, and the action-packed finale fight between the flood-infected Spartan and the Anubis. It's a genuinely hard trick in an animation to be able to tell the emotions behind the Spartan's face, but I could feel these characters. They felt very well fleshed out. Everything was a 10 out of 10 for me. This was a guaranteed win. So congratulations, you are best action. This was incredible. When we were thinking about categories, the judges and I, there was a guaranteed winner of choreography, something that I genuinely don't know how you storyboard out. So let's all check out the winner.
started as a battle between the Banished and the UNSC quickly escalated when the Flood broke out of the ground in a really creative way. They had excellent transformations and just amazing fight choreography. The way that Atriox and Chief team up at the end to fight that infected Spartan, I genuinely do not know how you can visualize that frame by frame and create something so gorgeous. So congratulations to the Wasp 116, your choreography was outstanding. And that leaves one more category, cinematography, and there is a big difference as Sonic Jump 117 was telling me last night, but there was an absolute guaranteed winner. And we really wanted to award this one a little bit higher in first, second, or third place, but the competition was so fierce. We think they still absolutely deserve best cinematography Check it out. Fire Team Nova, your objective is to infiltrate Covenant territory and assist our forces in taking the ring. It's some kind of warehouse. We need to go inside and see if we can get in touch with Command. Is that a... A smart helmet? Incoming!
It's in the name Stop Mo Pro created a slow building suspense with these ODSTs, but just blew us away with his choice of camera angle. It's so easy to just put the camera in front of the character, but to purvey how they're feeling with low and high camera angle, really deep focuses between two characters, and then some unbelievably creative action scenes. Just so badass. We were such a fan. My favorite shot in particular is this ODST. The whole thing is just flawless. With great set design as well, which I must say is pretty much all of these. If I've learned one thing from this animation competition, Floodgate Firefight is everything the community needs. Like half of these entries had Floodgate Firefight incorporated into them and it worked so well. But there can only be one first, second, and third. <laughs> there can only be one of each. And the prizes are stacked. We've got a Floodgate Firefight, a signed print from Mega, Mongoose Outriders, a random new Alpha 9 drop pod, and a blind bag. It is a serious prize list. And we've got the identical prizes for first, second, and third. So a little drum roll on your desk, everybody. Third place for this competition goes to this. Breaching Sector 3, move it, Marines. Come on, let's go. What the hell are these things? No idea. More contacts! Uh -huh. uh, No! Whoa. No, no, don't don't leave me here. What was that?
An absolutely enormous congratulations to Dan XIKY Studio. Oh man, we were on the edge of our seats from the second we laid eyes on this. The blood and the gore, while stretching it a little past what we would accept in this competition, is still just so good. Obviously, we've got to talk about Jerome. The fan favorite of this entire competition by far was Cherome. We made so many beautiful memes and he was just iconic. I don't know why the internet is so obsessed with Cherome now, but it works so well. And I was thrilled to see that someone embraced the meme for this competition. The way that you can build a set just from cardboard and then use it in such creative ways to show damage to the walls from the flood and the chair. The final fight and the creative way that he executes the flood tank form is perfection. I loved this animation from start to finish. You should be incredibly proud. And you've got to love a good cliffhanger as well. So huge, huge congratulations to third place. Now, anyone that's paying attention to this competition probably knows a few animations that are left over that have not been put into any category yet. So without further ado, let's see which one takes second place.
second place in this competition was honestly unlike any animation I've ever seen in my life, and it rewards multiple viewings. From deep, rich characters that are expressed just through speech bubbles and weird, high-pitched screams, and then the most unbelievable airborne fights. Like, there's a reason most people don't do air battles, they're so difficult to animate, but Borok321 knocked it out of the park. And they told us on the live stream to animate the background. First, they animated the entire thing. Then they went into Roblox and just panned the camera around based on where they needed the camera to go, based on what they'd already animated, which is outrageous to me. The final decision at the end where the Arbiter chooses whether or not to spare the Prophet's life, you can feel the emotions in a plastic toy so well. And while the story itself, while maybe a tiny bit lacking, is made up for in Honestly, the most impressive Halo Mega animation in terms of finish I might have ever seen in my life. An absolutely gigantic congratulations to Borok321. You earned it. But first place is still up for grabs. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present to you the first place, the winner of the Toymation Fest 2024. Check it out. <laughs> There's no civilians. Maybe no one's here. What was that? Lance, check the area. Sure thing, boss. All clear here. You're gonna see, come out! Hey, come out! Hey. Who is that? Matt, Ryan, on me. I said, on me. Sir, I got a contact. Open the door! Let me in! I can't take this anymore! First Lance, then Ryan, 
Who's gonna be next? Me? You? Yeehaw. Shut up! I couldn't even say sorry to ride. You died. And all I could do was watch. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't help either of them. You limit my chance of survival. I hope you understand. Watch out! No! Come back here, you freak! Give him back! Give me him back! Viva! Give him back! Give me him back! He's mine! Believe you me when I say this was not an easy choice. There were so many people that could have bagged first place. There were so many that weren't even in the honorable mentions that a year or two ago would have bagged first place, but this was a stiff competition. And let me tell you, Yellow Chief, a dedicated, long-standing member of the community, absolutely deserves first place in this competition. They created such suspense leading up to the first flood transformation and ending in absolute catastrophe for this poor group of ODSTs. The voice acting is so desperate and so real. He wants nothing more than to get his friends back and it ends in absolute catastrophe. Like I feel so bad for this entire team, but I love the suspenseful ending. Apparently Yellow Chief 3D printed all of the extra parts that you can see in this animation, built incredible sets, awesome lighting. There are no video flickers. The muzzle flashes are on point. Absolutely spectacular. One of the best Halo animations I'll ever see in my life. I think we could all take to the comments section and give a great big round of applause to Yellow Chief. You absolutely deserve Deserved first place in the Toymation Fest 2024. And now I'm gonna go and rest. This animation contest has dominated my life for quite a long time and it always does. And halfway through when I'm collating all the emails late at night and creating Excel documents and I always think to myself, this is gonna be the last year. This has to be the last year. I have to take it easy and focus on other things in my life. But the more I do this competition and when I get to editing the trailer and seeing all the feedback and all the excitement build and then so many people, at least 60 or 70 people stayed for the entire eight hours on the live stream, I realize my work has only just begun. And yes, things might change and don't hold up any expectations for next year, but if I am willing and able, I shall bring the Toymation Fest back next year. And the theme for next year shall be the Great Schism. I feel like that theme lends amazingly to animators stories and real life cutscenes and events, yep, and real cutscenes and events from the Halo universe. It's an iconic, pivotal moment in the story and now you get to bring it to life as well. Now, do not start animating now. There's gonna be some strict rules. There's gonna be some strict rules and you're only gonna start animating in January of next year. But you can start storyboarding, you can start thinking of ideas, but there is gonna be some strict ruling to limit people from just starting now. But as long as I can <laughs> do this again, I shall. This is um, just so wonderful to see. So many animators inspired um, and you know, life can be so distracting. It's so easy to procrastinate and not get these things done. But this competition gives people a purpose and a deadline and something to be proud of every single year. And I do not intend to stop that anytime soon. So huge congratulations to Best Concept, Multiversal Productions, Best Choreography, The Wasp 116, Best Cinematography, Stop Motion Pro, Best Action, Halo Editor, Third Place, Dan XIKY Studios, Second, Borok321, and First, Yalo Chief. With a load of honorable mentions, Willstar123, Probo Animations, Divided Pixels, Mego TV Studios, Honey Bunny, and so, so many more. 
This has been brought to life and only made possible by all the animators, by all of the judges, by all of the people that just pour in love to this competition and to this commu community. <laughs> Joking up. To this community every year. <coughs> Excuse me. And as for that, I'm uh, gonna go lie down and rest on a grateful universe. This has been the Domizzle in the Hizzle. And for the last time in the Toy Mation Fest 2024, I am signing off. You stay awesome, you stay safe. I'll see you next time, folks.